Ask anyone that has made it financially, and they will tell you that achieving financial stability is not a walk in the park. It's by sheer determination, commitment, discipline, and knowing when to forego buying some things to achieve financial freedom. Number 10. Cable Television With all the streaming options that are out there, cable television should be the last expense on your budget. The question is, why do you need cable when you can pay a fraction of the price and get content that is original and more entertaining? Let's look at the numbers and you can make that decision on your own. Cable costs anywhere between $45 to $130, without internet depending on provider. For content you might watch for two or three hours a day, depending on your work schedule, $130 is a small fortune and this kind of money should not leave your wallet or bank account. On the other hand, Netflix can solve all your movie and TV problems for just $8.99. If you want to buy the premium plan, it's still affordable at $17.99 but it is a smart financial decision to stick to the basic plan if you only have a few hours to watch. Your pocket will thank you. Other affordable streaming services you can consider include Hulu, Disney+, Prime Video, among others. And, if you want to be extremely frugal, ditch TV altogether. You may not keep up with keeping up with the Joneses, but who needs to waste time watching people make money? Certainly not you, right? Number 9 gym memberships. We know how much you want to turn that one-pack ab into six-pack abs. And while gyms can aid you to get that flat belly, the cost is not worth it, especially when you have other cheaper options. The average cost of a gym is $507 the first year, which drops to an average of $479 in subsequent years. But despite the drop, the cost is still on the higher side. You can avoid such expenses that eat into your budget by finding alternatives to keep fit and in good shape. For example, you can use your DIY skills to make a roller and other makeshift gym equipment. You can also work out at the park or an empty room in your house. How do you tone your body? Number 8. Name Brand Products If you've ever spent money on a name brand product, chances are you don't use it anymore. Name brand items are those that have popular labels such as Kellogg's cereal. While it's okay to buy name brand items if that's what you're into, we will let you in on a secret. It's a complete ripoff. And here's why. Name brands and common brands are usually manufactured by the same people. Sure, there are common brands that don't have quality products, and you can tell by checking reviews from other consumers. But you can choose to buy those underestimated brands that offer quality products at affordable prices. For example, a pair of sneakers from the Versace website costs $1,004 while a Walmart pair costs $46. Both shoes are of good quality and serve the same purpose. Walmart has been in operation since 1962 and we doubt it would have stood the test of time if they had poor quality products, don't you think? Before looking at the brand, consider quality and whether the product is worth the cost. Number 7. Bottled Water Bottled water is an $18.5 billion industry in the USA. An average person spends $100 per year on bottled water. If you have four adults in the house, that's $400 a year. While bottled water is recommended in cases of natural disasters, regular intake costs you money that you can save. Because water is the lifeline of every living thing on the planet, you can't do without it. But you can do without wasting money on it. You can look for other affordable options. Filtering your water at home is a smart financial decision because while it helps you trim your expenses, it's also safe to drink, which helps improve your health and protect the environment. You will save your money and also have access to clean, healthy, and great tasting drinking water. Filtered water is more convenient because you will never run out of water in the house. Whereas if you rely on bottled water, you might run out in the middle of the night, which would force you to rush to the convenience store. This will cost you more because convenience stores are notorious for hiking prices and you would also be risking your life. Number 6. Paper Towels The paper towel business rakes in over $12 billion in annual revenue. While paper towels are useful and convenient, especially when you have visitors or an event, they're not as convenient in your home because they become litter 
and waste your money. For example, a six pack of paper towels sells for $14.97, while a 30 pack of microfiber cloth costs $12.97. That is a $2 difference and you cannot reuse the paper towel while the microfiber cloths are washable and reusable. For a towel that you will use and discard, spending $14.97 is wasting your money because you will keep going back to the store to purchase more paper towels when you run out. With washable cloths, you only have to buy them once and they will serve you for a long time. Buying microfiber cloths also helps you save the environment and reduce the carbon print. Other alternatives you can use include cotton napkins or hand dryers. Number 5. Lottery Tickets According to the North America Association of State and Provincial Lotteries, Americans spend over $90 billion a year in lottery tickets. Most people that play the lottery come from middle and low-income neighborhoods hoping for a windfall but end up wasting more money than they win. And they continue playing until they have lost all their money. The odds of winning a lottery are only 1 to 175 million. Buying lottery tickets or playing the lottery is like falling into a bottomless pit knowing that you are going down but have no idea how deep it is. The odds of winning the lottery are so deep that you are more likely to become president or give birth to conjoined twins than to win. Instead of throwing your money away, put it into good use such as saving in a compound interest account where your money is sure to grow rapidly. This way, you get to earn money instead of losing some. Number 4. Latest Fashion Trends Models look adorable, sophisticated, and invincible in their high-end fashion clothes while they catwalk on the runway, right? But the reality is, most of them just wear the clothes because they've been employed to sell fashion. Outside of the Milan Fashion Show, you can find them in ordinary clothes purchased from ordinary stores, such as Walmart. Who wants to wear a dress made of raw meat anyway? Well, we guess Lady Gaga made the trend pop. But that aside, high-end fashion comes with a hefty price tag that can bankrupt you at the snap of a finger. There are high-quality clothes that would cost a fraction of the fashion trend clothes. You don't need to spend a fortune on an oversized shoulder pad boyfriend jacket while you can buy a $50 blazer at Walmart that fits you just fine, accentuates your waistline, and saves you money. Besides, you wouldn't wear the latest fashion for a long time because fashion trends change every other week, which would leave you with a closet full of clothes you would never wear. Number 3. Pre-Cut Veggies With our busy schedules, sometimes you just want to whip up a quick meal and go to bed early. Pre-cut veggies are just the thing that can save you time when you're in a hurry or don't have time to cook. But as much as they save you time, there is a big catch with buying them already pre-cut from the grocery store. This is because you don't only pay for the vegetables, but also the packaging and labor of the person that did it for you. Pre-cut vegetables may not have the same level of cleanliness and hygiene that you would like. Nutrients may be lost through oxidation and you may waste your money because the price is almost double the uncut vegetables. For example, a whole head of lettuce costs $2.49, while prepackaged lettuce costs $3.99. Besides costing you more, prepacked vegetables look fresh, but looks can be deceiving. The vegetables start losing nutrients the minute they have been cut, so you might be eating non-nutritious salad, which does nothing to improve your health or your wallet. Number two, ringtones. If the phone you're using right now did not come with a single ringtone, it was probably manufactured way before locomotives were invented. Every phone comes with many options for ringtones. While most ringtones are nothing to write home about, some are bearable, while others are great. The average cost of a ringtone is $3, and the ringtone market in the US alone is worth close to 500 million a year. Imagine how much you have contributed to this market. If you calculate the money you have spent to purchase ringtones, you would bang your head against the wall. Let's assume you change your ringtone once a week. In a month, you would spend $12 to $15. That's close to $200 in a year. Instead of spending all that money on a ringtone, you can save it. Download a free ringtone app to find the best ringtone for your phone without spending a dime. Before making purchases for anything, 
it's worth finding out if there are free versions or alternatives for those purchases. You save a ton of cash when you think outside the box. Before we get into number one, make sure you check out the links in the description for our best recommendations to boost your savings. Number one, pet costumes. We know how cute and cuddly your canine bestie looks when he's all dressed up in holiday clothes. Just because your pet lets you get away with it doesn't mean that they like having more weight added to their already thick coats. Besides risking heat stroke to your pet, buying clothes for them is also a waste of money and time because they are perfectly beautiful with their natural coats. While buying costumes for your pets may feel like a good idea, it gives you more work to clean them and also costs you money. For example, buying a lion mane for your dog may make it look scary and menacing, but your pooch wouldn't magically turn into Mufasa. On Amazon, a dog lion mane costs $14, and while it may transform your pet into a male lion, it causes a dent in your pocket and discomfort to your dog. It might be worth it if your Rhodesian Ridgeback could roar like Mufasa. Instead of spending money on costumes, save it for when your pet needs it in situations such as impromptu trips to the vet or a reward for good behavior. The phrase, if it walks like a duck, swims like a duck, and quacks like a duck, then it's probably a duck, couldn't resonate better. Make sure to check out the next video. You're going to get a ton of value from this one. See you there.